sides overlap. And I like that because it adds more security for the band. Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Alicia with Sea Star Soap Company. And on today's video, I'm showing you my process on how I wrap and label my bath bombs. I show you who I print them off with, how I design them. Super easy and simple. If that's something that you're interested in, stay tuned. For my labels, I use Avery Designs Online to design and print them. They were just easier for me to choose. The learning curve on them it wasn't so steep as I was using a different one. And I love them. Okay, and then I have everything lined up, ready to print. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit get PDF. And it lets me print from home and it'll open up the file for me to just print it off my computer. And I do print them on the cardstock paper. Okay, now that we have our bath bombs printed off, we can now cut them. And I use a simple paper cutter, got it from Walmart, 12 bucks, and it works just fine for me. I'm used to cutting my labels already, but if you're just starting off, definitely start one by one. Don't do multiple at a time if you're not too sure where to cut it off at. It's gonna go ahead and line it up in here. Okay. Now, with me, I need my words here popping up a little bit. I'm not gonna cut it, I come really close, but I definitely don't cut my words off. And yep, that's how that's done. And I'm starting off with three sheets. I have three different types of bath bombs I have to get labeled and wrapped up. Okay, now that that's all done, I'm gonna go grab my bath bombs and we'll get to wrapping them. Okay, and I just grabbed these out of the room that I have a dehumidifier running 24-7. It's been about three days since I did these, and now we're just wrapping them. Okay, so let's do this. Start off with Valberry. Alright, so my bath bombs, I do custom-made ones anywhere from six and a half to 3.5 um i want to cut down on the sizes i'm doing but i want to stick with the two and a half that's a pretty good size for the customer of course the bigger it is the more expensive it is and what i why i use cardstock is i just like to wrap all the way around my ring it's been the easiest method that i've learned to do and I will use this mat. I'm going to set it on here and loop it around. And before I loop it all the way through, I'm going to take, I use Crafters uh, permanent tape to in, apply adhesive. So do that, and then I'm just going to wrap it around there. Okay, and bam, that is it. Another side note, I do them really tight. That way when I'm sticking them in the plastic bag, it doesn't shift around too much. And these are rock hard. I mean, 
I'm not worried about them breaking or anything, so. So now that that's done, we're gonna move on to bagging eggs. I get my bags from Amazon. I do not know the measurements of this. I think it's like a five by seven. Going to take this. Okay. That guy. Now, I'm not worried about my band moving around because I did them pretty tight. If you do them looser, they're going to move around. Okay. okay. Take this guy. Ooh, we're gonna keep seal. And I like to do it until it's a regular blow dryer, but I but I hear with the other ones a blow dryer is not gonna be hot enough to use it. And that's it guys on today's video I showed you how to wrap the bath bombs and I will be doing a video make bath bombs so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe